For this tutorial you will need your selected yarn. I'm using Stylecraft Special Chunky DK. I shall leave the link in the description box. You will also need a pair of scissors, a darning needle, a crochet hook. Now because this is a chunky DK I'm using an 8mm hook. This is actually two sizes larger than what the um, label recommends just because I want it to be um, a bigger stitch. And you can obviously use as many different colours as you want in your project. You want to begin by making your slip knot, and you can do this whichever way you prefer. Now, your first chain might vary from person to person, but this chain is actually going to be um, however deep you want your hat to be or your beanie to be. So, um, if you measure sort of from your forehead, to the top of your head that's how long it's going to be I would always add a little bit extra if you want to turn over your hat at the bottom so for me I am going to start off by chaining 27 and you do that by just um, grabbing the yarn and pulling it through don't make this first chain too tight uh, because you've obviously got to work back over the chain in order to add your stitches so pause the video and work your chain. As I say, I'm doing 27 and I shall meet you back to show you what to do for the next row. So I've now done my chain of 27 and what I'm going to do now is do a half treble crochet into the third chain from the hook. So not the one on the hook, not this one, not the next, but the third one along. So this is a UK term, in the US this would be a half double crochet. So you want to yarn over and insert your hook into that third chain, grab your yarn, pull it through and then grab your yarn and pull it through all three loops on the hook. So you're just missing a stage. It just makes that stitch bigger than a double but smaller than a treble. Um, and you're just going to repeat that all the way along into every single chain that you made for your foundation chain. So pulling all the way through. If you want to pause the video and work your way all the way along and I shall meet you back for your next row. So once you've gone all the way along your chain, you just want to count your stitches. Now because I chained 27, I actually have 25 stitches plus my original turning chain. So I have 26 in total and that's an important number to remember for your project, whichever number you have because each row is going to consist of that many stitches. Now it's really easy um, from now on, all you have to do is chain two and turn your work and you're going to work your way back all the way along that row but instead of going through both the loops on the hook you're only going to work into the back loop and that's what creates this ridged effect to your work. So if you turn your work um, towards you, you'll see these little V's on the top and all you want to do is yarn over, insert your hook into the back loop, yarn over, pull through and then yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook and then again into your next one. And again into your next one. And you just want to continue in this way all the way along to the very end. So pause the video and I shall meet you back at the end of this row. So now you're at the end, you want to just count your stitches just to make sure you're on the right track. And you're going to chain two again and turn. And then simply do exactly the same thing. So you're working into the back loop of every stitch doing a half treble crochet. So exactly the same thing all the way along and this is what each and every row 
consists of from now on. Okay, so you're actually building your beanie um, upwards, so you're going to end up with a long piece. I'm going to do about 37 rows of these, but you want to make it long enough so it can wrap around your head or whoever's head you're making it for. Obviously, that's going to be different for every person, and it will also be different depending on the hook size and which yarn you use as well. So work as many rows as you need to wrap around um, the head of the person you're making the hat for. Pause the video and meet me back when you're done. Okay, so when you're done, you should end up with a long piece big enough to go around your head. And each side of the work is going to give a slightly different feel. So this side uh, feels like you've got um, more ridges going down the end. And then this one feels like... Um, it's got deeper even ridges so decide which side you prefer best and which one you want to have on the outside I want this side to be on the outside so I'm actually going to um, pull in both sides so that we're putting the right sides together so all I want you to do now is grab um, a darning needle I'm actually um, I've actually left a really long end here so I've inserted um, my darning needle and what you're going to do is simply sew one edge to the other making sure that you're keeping it nice and neat um, and all you need to do is just hook your thread through one side and then come back to the other and then just sew it up. Obviously the more stitches you pop in there the more secure it's going to be. So go ahead and do that and I'll meet you back in a moment. So now you've done that your seam should be fairly invisible, you, it should just blend uh, right into the work, mine is just along here. I've taken another piece of yarn which is fairly long and I've attached it to the end just here so it doesn't matter either end is absolutely fine and what you're going to do with this is just weave your needle in and out the top of your work so you might want to think about weaving it in and out each of your ridges and um, so we've got one row here and a row here um, and doing that will uh, make it nice and even And what you'll find is if you pull on your work like this, it actually bunches it all up together. So that's what we're aiming to do. This is going to be the top of the hat. So we're bunching it all up together. So if you want to work your way all the way around. And then I'll meet you back once you've worked to back to the beginning. And then I shall show you what to do next. I've now gone all the way around and I'm back to the beginning so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull really tight on this yarn and I'm simply going to weave in my needle in and out from side to side not going too deeply but just weaving that so that we're strengthening the top of the hat or the beanie should I say and then also from the other side because we do want to keep it round and then once you feel that that's secure you can go ahead and pop in a knot just to tie it off and then weave in your ends and snip it off And then what you want to do is you want to turn it the right way out and you'll find that makes the top of your hat. Now you can actually add um, a pom-pom if you want to on the top of there, it makes it look quite cool. Um, if I flatten this out, you can either turn this up and um, just tack with some yarn to keep that um, up like this. Or if you wanted to, you can actually add a row of double crochet along this edge. So to do that, all you would want to do is take your yarn and your hook 
and then just pop it into one of these stitches and tie it on and then you just want to double crochet all the way around you could just do one row of this two rows is totally up to you I find that um, it just makes it look a little bit neater and what I do is I kind of just look for um, each stitch and do one in each stitch all the way around Ta-da! There you go guys, that is the beanie. I've turned mine up and tacked it um, at the sides uh, or like in four, I know they're not corners but front and back and side and side and I also added a little pom-pom. Now I make my pom-poms really weird, I don't use um, the pom-pom makers and I don't use cardboard, I actually use my fingers. Um, so I didn't do the tutorial on how to do that because it kind of looks a bit awkward on camera but I will leave, I'll find a pom-pom tutorial and I'll leave um, a link to one in the description box. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, if you did make sure you give me a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with any of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye!